Hello folks, uh, welcome to this screencast where we'll talk about our organization H2K Infosys and then we'll brief you about ETL testing, the benefits of ETL and what are the job prospects of ETL, right? So we are H2K Infosys and we are based out of Atlanta, Georgia and we are providing IT training in various testing fields like HPQC, ETL testing and there are various others. Right? So our CEO is Mr. Rao and we have a list of faculties with over on an average there are over 11 years of experience and we take these many courses like manual testing, HP, UFT, ISTQB accompanied by various real-time projects and then and these are taken by Mrs. Priya and then we have Mr. Sudhir who takes care of Selenium WebDriver, Java, HP, UFT, QTP and then we have Mrs. Anjum and then Mr. Prasad who takes care of mobile application testing and then we have Mrs. Mona who is also having more than 11 years of experience and she is expert in terms of HP, UFT, QTP and web services and myself Santosh and I have more than 11 years of experience and I am into ETL and Informatica so I'll be taking care of all the facets of ETL be it ETL testing, ETL development or Informatica and then we have Mr. Kishan who takes care of Java, J2E and web services and Ms. Rajit who takes care of Big Data Hadoop and then we have Mrs. Ritu who takes care of Unix, Linux, manual testing. So this stats so here and obviously it's headed by our CEO Mr. Rao who has more than 20 years of experience in IT industry. So why we have shown this chart up front before going into introducing our organization is what we believe as an organization or as a training institute is that it's all about trainers, right? The quality of trainers is something which impacts our training or impacts our students. So our foremost importance is to have a good experienced team who are well versed in their topic, who are expert in their field so that they can pass their pass on their expertise to our students. So this is a snapshot to say that yes we have a team of specialized professionals who can teach you from the scratch until the advanced topics on whatever topics are listed here. Right? So so we as H2K Infosys are well versed in providing you IT trainings with real-time project work for corporates as well as individuals. Now what we focus on is that yes you need to have theoretical knowledge on the topics but the thing which is the most helpful is having real-time project experience right so our courses are designed in such a way that you get a feel of working in a real project Right? That's what the aim is because you are taking a training because you want to crack an interview and then you want to get into a project. So until unless you are aware of what a project is or how to approach a given project, you'll not be a complete professional. Right? So here at H2K Infosys, we aim at or we strive for giving you IT trainings along with real-time project work. Right? And then we have special IT training for MS students also in US along with the working professionals which we have and then we cater to software design development, QA, manual as well as automation and performance test testing and maintenance. Okay, And we, ha we are an IT staff augmentation firm with 100% job placement assistance and yes in case of any technical issues our tech support team is always help you, happy to help you out. All right. Now, a quick glance at what all we go like uh, teach. So we look into manual QA testing, where you need to have business requirement document, 
software development life cycle stlc waterfall and agile types of testing requirement gathering rtm test plan test cases test execution bug reporting bug life cycle and test reporting so these are different qa testing course topics which we teach along with like database testing using sql queries to tool to execute the queries and then we have unix linux hp alm automation testing using hp uft performance testing using hp load runner and then i'll come down to my area of expertise which is etl testing okay so myself santosh will go ahead and provide trainings on etl testing in h2k infosys and to give me a brief background about myself i have more than 11 years of experience into it industry and i am predominantly into data warehousing so from scratch i am into data warehousing and analytics where i impart knowledge on various data warehousing projects like uh, involving teradata informatica etl testing and all so this is what i have for myself and i have been um, a faculty of this institute for last four years and i am into etl testing giving knowledge on various facets of etl testing how do you approach etl testing and how to work in a etl testing project okay now i'm talking about etl testing so let me give you a brief introduction on what is etl and why there is so much buzz about etl in the present world right so let me take an excel and i'll just explain you what is etl okay so predominantly in today's world you have your projects divided into on a very high level two parts okay one would be like application projects where we build applications like a internet reservation system or a net banking system or any other app like we build applications which help user to perform their task in a easier way right so if you have a net banking system rather than standing in a bank queue you just download an app and you do transactions right so uh, there is a set of projects termed as application project which help users perform their task right now there's another set of projects which are termed as data warehousing projects okay Now, data warehousing projects are concerned with answering business questions. Okay, and ETL is a part of data warehousing project only. Okay, so ETL or data warehousing projects are responsible for answering business questions. Now, suppose your business, like every organization, like is doing a certain business, right? So, suppose a question comes up by a senior management that I want to know. the list of customers who are the top spenders okay or suppose a retailer wants to know who are the list of customers who are the top spenders correct so once they know this information that who are the top spender probably they like to reward them for their good shopping right or suppose they also want to know who are their bottom spenders who are the customers who are spending the least so that if they know their details they can throw promotional offers to them so that they can engage more they can purchase more right similarly suppose a senior management want to know that in the next 6 months who are the set of customers who are more likely to leave me suppose there's a walmart retail retail manager who wants to know that who are the set of customers who in the next 6 months will leave me and go to best buy okay so if i know this information before hand i can go ahead and devise strategies so as to retain those customers right so if you see this data warehousing or etl projects are something which give answers to the business people okay so the aim of data warehousing project is to answer business questions 
okay and these business questions are answered with the help of ETL tools So if you see, these are the business questions which you need to answer and the ETL tools help us to answer this question. So remember, like how are these business questions answered? These business questions are answered with the help of reports. Okay, There will be a set of team who will prepare reports which will contain the stats or the data answering your manager's business questions. Okay, Now, we as ETL testers or ETL developers are required here okay so ETL testers needs to make sure that whatever data is going into your reports okay is it correct or not okay and it is very critical because if you give wrong numbers here in your reports the same wrong number would be fed to the managers. The managers will have a look at the wrong numbers and they will take the decisions based upon wrong numbers, right? Which will adversely impact their business, right? So, to make sure that your business or you are adding value to your business, you need to be 100% sure that the data which goes to these reports or dashboards are 100% accurate. Okay, so we as ETL testers are required to make sure that the data which goes here into your reports, consequently answering your business questions, is 100% accurate. Okay, so imagine you are involved in such a high critical job which will have a huge impact. If a number goes here and there, it will have a huge impact on business, right? So that's the reason why ETL testing is a very lucrative job it's very highly paid job the only sole reason why businesses are ready to pay anything for a ETL tester is because of the criticality which you bring in here it's because of the impact which you bring in here if number goes wrong here your reports will be inaccurate and based upon those inaccurate reports these business decisions will be taken by management which will negatively impact their business Right? So that's the reason why ETL testers, because of their criticality, they have a very important role to play in data warehousing or ETL projects and because of this Im high impact and high critical nature of the work, it is one of the most important or like it is one of the highly paid jobs in this IT industry and the job prospects of ETL testing is very huge and the reason is, see, every business will need reports correct and with the like uh, with the popularity of data warehousing projects with the popularity of ETL projects everybody wants to take informed decisions based upon numbers right and where will they get their numbers from they get their numbers from these reports and who will be ensuring that these reports correct collect, uh, contain correct numbers it's the ETL testers right that's where the as in when the businesses expand, the requirement for ETL testers will be huge. So in the in terms of job prospect, ETL testing is something which is very highly visible. It has a whole lot of opportunities and yes, it is one of the lucrative job profiles to work on. Okay, So this is on a very high level I talked about ETL tools but once we get into our regular classes, it was since it was just an introductory session so I just give you a high level overview of what is an ETL but once we start off we'll go into the we'll do a deep dive and we'll discuss in details about how does ETL tester work what are the job responsibilities and what we actually do in a project right so with this uh, thank you all thanks